So this question is a translate word problem question. We know that because it is more than four lines long, right? So greater than four lines. And with this strategy, all we want to do is make sure we're writing down any quantitative information as we read, instead of just reading the whole thing all in one go and then going back to extract the information. So the question says, Salim wants to purchase tickets from a vendor to watch a tennis match. The vendor charges a one-time service fee for processing the purchase of the tickets. The equation T equals 15N plus 12 represents the total amount T in dollars Salim will pay for N tickets. So anytime I see an equation, I just like to rewrite it. So T equals 15N plus 12. Don't forget the question does tell us that there's a one-time servicing or service fee, which really must be the 12 here because, again, the N here represents the number of tickets, so that's not obviously a one-time fee. That's a per-ticket fee. So here is our one-time service fee, and here is our like per-ticket fee, right? So $15. What does 12 represent in the equation? Okay, so perfect. So kind of fall right into that because I'm thinking, how do I translate what I'm reading, right? So I have this equation and I'm already thinking, but well, what does this mean, right? And what does this mean? Because I'm, I'm seeking to translate the meaning of what I've written. So we've already talked about the 12 being the one-time service fee. So let's look at the answer choices and see which one matches with that idea. So choice A says the price of one ticket in dollars. That's definitely not true because that's the 15, right? That's why it's multiplied by N. B, the amount of the service fee in dollars. I like that answer, so I'm going to circle it. I'm pretty sure that's the correct answer, but let's just read the other ones just to make sure. C, the total amount in dollars Celine will pay for one ticket. Nope, that's what T represents. And, uh, in fact, that's what T represents if N is equal to 1, so C is definitely not correct. And D, the total amount in dollars Celine will pay for any number of tickets. Well, that's... That's what T represents. That's what this equation represents. So D is gone. So B is the best answer here.